Hi, I'm Christy Ross, public television chef and cookbook author. And today I'm making a rustic autumn tart. This is going to be apples and cinnamon and nutmeg. And I'm going to bake it outside in my new Pacific Living outdoor oven. So, you know, it's a gorgeous fall day up in the mountains of Colorado, and I want to take advantage of that. So I have a cup and a half of flour in my food processor, and I'm adding in some unsalted butter, just uh, one, one half cup of unsalted butter. I'm adding in a little bit of sugar just for sweetness and about a half teaspoon of salt. And I put the lid on and just pulse this a little bit, just until the butter is pea size. So just about like this. And I keep an eye on it. Now I'm baking up at uh, an altitude of 9,300 feet. So if you're at sea level, uh, the baking time will be a little different as will the amount of water that I am going to be adding here. So I'm going to put in four tablespoons of ice water. And then I'm going to pulse again. Now, if you're around sea level or thereabouts, that will probably be enough ice water for you. And I'm going to feel this. Still feels a little dry to me. So because it is such a dry atmosphere up here in the mountains, I'm going to add in almost another tablespoon and see how this is. And then I wait until it all comes around to a ball just like this. Oh, it feels just right. It's not too wet. It's not too dry. That means it's going to roll out really easily. Now, I would take the pastry, wrap it up in plastic wrap, and stick it in the fridge for about 30 minutes until the butter gets nice and cold again. So I'm using ice water and I'm using ice cold uh, unsalted butter because together that creates a really light and flaky pastry. So I have one that I just took out of the refrigerator a few minutes ago. I made this earlier in the day and I have this on a pastry cloth and I'm just going to roll out the pastry like this. And you know the great thing about this pastry recipe is you can um, make this, wrap it, and even freeze it and use it another time. Or you can make it one day ahead. So it's a really nice uh, recipe to keep in mind. Just a cup and a half of flour and a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, uh, unsalted butter, and ice water. And guaranteed, you're going to have a flaky, buttery, pastry that your friends will say, wow, that's the best pie I ever had. Now, if you want to use this for a savory recipe, leave out the sugar. Okay, so I'm not worried about the ends being kind of rough or anything because I'm. this is going to be a very rustic tart. So I fold it in half and you see how easy this is to work with. And I have a baking sheet here with parchment paper and I folded up the edges of the paper so that any juices that escape during baking will uh, be caught in, the, in that paper. Saves a whole lot of washing up time later. Okay, then I just set this aside and I have four apples. Use your favorite apple, but something that's a little bit tart, kind of nice and crisp. And I'm going to make just my little sugar and cinnamon filling. So I have a half cup of sugar. You really don't need a whole lot of sugar and uh, because otherwise it's just too tart, uh, too, too uh, sweet. I have one tablespoon of flour, a teaspoon of Saigon cinnamon, which is extremely fragrant. And I have a nutmeg. This is a whole nutmeg. And I use a little microplane and just shave off a little bit. About maybe a quarter teaspoon. And then I give this a quick stir. Get all those ingredients blended in there nicely and pour this mixture over the apples. In the meantime, I have heated up my outdoor oven to about 400 degrees. 
and I toss this a little bit and then squeeze in some le uh, lemon juice, probably about maybe a tablespoon's worth, something like that. Okay, this adds just a little bit of tartness. Um, it also moistens the sugar. There we go. So you don't need a pie plate for this recipe. You just do the whole thing on a cookie sheet, which is kind of nice. Okay, so I'm taking advantage of this really gorgeous autumn day. You'll probably notice the beautiful autumn leaves behind me. And um, this recipe is a great one for autumn, clear through Thanksgiving, and really into the holiday season. When I was growing up, my father would cook outside even in the dead of winter. And he would, uh, I can still picture him outside in his heavy coat and a big fur hat and his leather driving gloves. And um, he'd be standing out there cooking something uh, uh, outdoors for us. And it was really fun, you know? Um, and, it, and it's a neat me uh, memory. So, you know, when you think about cooking outside, don't just think that, wow, now the summer's done, so is cooking outdoors. No, it is a year-round thing. No matter what time of year, what your weather's like, you can do some outdoor cooking. So I've got my, I'm saving a couple of these apples. I'm going to nibble on those later. And see, I've turned the outer edges of these apples down at the base inward so that they don't poke through the pastry. Then I just gently, gently fold up the pastry and it's going to leave a, a big hole in the center which will allow the steam to escape but it also gives it that wonderful rustic look. There we are. And I'm doing this very gently so I don't poke a hole in the bottom of the pastry. Another reason why you have all the apples turned inward along the bottom. And if it starts to fall, just prop it up again with your hands. And see, I'm just putting nice gentle folds here. There we go. And one more turn so I can fix this edge. Look how beautiful this is. See how easy that is too? And don't forget to include your kids in an activity like this because this is really fun for them to help. Okay, then all I do is take an egg wash and this is one egg mixed with about a tablespoon of water. It's called an egg wash and I brush this very gently onto the pastry. This will give it a nice uh, glaze so it'll be kind of shiny brown when it bakes. It will also uh, give it a nice crisp texture which is such a nice element to have on uh, pastry of any type and then I will sprinkle the outside of this pastry with sugar. In this case I'm using what's called sparkling sugar. It's a pastry sugar and you can find it these days in a lot of supermarkets and um, it gives it that finished look so that your your uh, tart will um, actually look like it came from a bakery but it's going to taste like homemade. And there's nothing better than homemade anything from the oven, especially an outdoor oven. So there we go. So then I'm just going to sprinkle a little sparkling sugar, or you can use granulated sugar. And I can smell my other tart, which I made earlier. I can smell the fabulous aromas of baking pastry and cinnamon and nutmeg because it's about ready to come out of the oven, which means I'm about ready to dip into it. So here we are, this is the finished tart. Let me get the, the baked one out. So again, this is my Pacific Living outdoor oven. Great for all kinds of cooking, grilling, smoking. Oh my gosh, look at this. Is this beautiful? So this is from my friends at Pacific Living, 
out in California. I'll put this down here. And for more great recipes, you can see me on uh, your local PBS station, no matter where you live. And my show, A Home for Chrissy Ross Thanksgiving, will air again this November nationwide. So check your PBS and Create station. And for more terrific recipes, pick up a copy of my book, Celebrating Home. Thanks so much. And... Have a great fall.